This Shabbos we will repurchase Achrimos, at least in Shuls of Chusaretz. In Eretz Yisrael, Achrimos was already read last Shabbos, which was Isru Chag, while for us it was still Pesach. But why is it called Achrimos, after the death? Our own sons, Nadav and Avihu, did not die in this Barsha, nor in the previous one, Mitzorah, nor in the one before that, Tazria, but rather in Shmini. This year, the distance is even more pronounced as we have the two Shabbosos of Pesach in between for a total gap of five weeks. The technical answer, of course, is that following the pattern of all partials, the name derives from an uncommon word or word pair at the beginning of the Parsha. And Achremos meets that criteria. But that just begs the question, why does the Parsha mention Achremos now? Even the Parshos actually recording the deaths of Sarimenu and Yaakov Avinu use a formulation of life, Chaye Sarah and Vaychi Yaakov. The truth is that no matter how many Parshos may have elapsed, no matter how much time may have transpired, the death of a beloved family member, especially a child, even more so two children under such untimely and extraordinary circumstances, is never really behind us. And particularly when prescribing the requirements for a celebrated occasion like Yom HaKippurim, memories of a previous family simcha turned family tragedy are always fresh. We may need Minhagim to remind us of Chorban Yushalayim and Beis Migdash at a wedding through ashes, reduction of adornments, a broken glass but no such formal cues are necessary when dealing with the recent loss of human life. Another approach mentioned by various Mepharshim is that the Achrimo served as a warning of sorts, precautions that needed to be followed in order to avoid the repeat of a similar tragedy. And so Bezos Yavor Aron al-Kodesh can thus be understood as adhering to a very specific regimen, not an Eish Sarah, to avoid what had happened in Parsha Shmini. And yet that very same verse, Bezos Yavo Aron al Kodesh, can be turned on its head and read as Afopichain, Bezos, despite what Aaron, his wife, his other two sons, and really everyone has been through, he will still Yavo al Kodesh. The most effective way to deal with grief Profound grief is often to persist, to forge ahead. Some years ago, at a conference on trauma in the Jewish community, I heard Rabbi Hashi Billet, now Rabbi Emeritus of the Israel of Woodmere, point out that the Hanukkah Samishkan begins by he beyond Kalos Moshe Akima Samishkan. It was on that day, that very day, that very day of the death of Nadav and Aviyu that this inauguration took place. But who was that leadoff Nasi who brought his tribe's korban on the first day? It was none other than Nachshon ben Aminadav Mateyuda, Elisheva's husband, the brother-in-law of Aaron, the uncle of Nadav and Avihu, persisting, forging ahead in the immediate aftermath of profound tragedy. You will likely be watching this video on or around Yom HaShoah, the day on which we remember the six million Kedoshim and share in the pain of the remaining survivors. And though it will also be for us always Acharemos, at the same time, Bezos Yavo Aron al Kodesh, we watch the establishment of the State of Israel, the rebuilding of Jewish life around the world, and the explosion of Torah learning at every level. It is Acharemos, but it is also Bezos Yavo Ela Kodesh.